finally, we have showed you some of the greatest Super Bowls in South Florida history, but we haven't showed you the wildest. Uh, back in the 1970s, which wasn't that long ago, by the way, there was a movie <laughs> called Black Sunday, and it's changed how everyone viewed the blimp and the Super Bowl. Our loop Doris is going to explain. The 70s, a time for bell bottoms, disco music, and preposterous disaster flicks featuring upside down cruise ships, gargantuan earthquakes, and towering, well, infernos. But if there was one movie that epitomized quintessential silver screen cheese, it was the dud that, of course, featured Miami, right here where the Orange Bowl used to stand. Pat Summerall with Tom Brookshire, and Tom, you could feel the pressure building up all week. So here we go. Everyone remembers Black Sunday, right? Okay, maybe not. But how about the one where the blimp crashes into the Orange Bowl? Ha! There you go. The 1977 movie dealt with a plot to blow up the Goodyear blimp over a Steelers-Cowboys Super Bowl and starred Robert Shaw, the captain who got eaten in Jaws, Bruce Dern, and uh, Miami Dolphins owner Joe Robbie? If you do it, you might as well cancel every athletic contest in this country. The no, film itself may have been the actual bomb. So it was kind of cool, I just took that same shot. Yeah. But it was nothing but a great time for local and national broadcaster Joe Johnson, who along with a group of high school buddies, served as an extra in the movie. We sat around a lot and we clowned around a lot and I was taking a lot of film of cameras and guys and on the field and... Johnson also brought along his Super 8 camera and as a film buff himself... Because you had the little cartridge that you put in here. Shot a bunch of footage that he's kept all this time. There's like a small group of us. There's not very many, maybe, I don't know, 1,200 people or something. In the video, you can see all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff going on at the OB. Even former Dolphin Nat Moore was there. When the blimp makes its fateful move, Johnson and the others finally got the call for action. I know that when they got to that scene where they wanted all of us to pretend the blimp was coming, there was obviously no blimp for us to see, and then they cut it in later, but, you know, we had to scream into the, into the camera, their camera, and, um, yeah, I don't think we really knew the plot necessarily, but uh, it was fun. While Johnson's movies are personal gold, Paramount, the studio that made the dud, would rather they remain in the dark. I said, I've got this three minute video or film of happening of when they filmed in uh, Black uh, Sunday at the Orange Bowl. They just weren't interested. I just would have given it to them just because I thought it would be neat for the DVD. But... Can you imagine the NFL allowing real teams to be used in a disaster movie these days? And what about Goodyear? Yep, the 70s were a different time and South Florida was a different place. But when it comes to Super Bowls, Miami will always have the perfect season Dolphins and Black Sunday.